Hello guys, welcome to episode 18 of the Edmonton Rovers game mode. Last episode, uh, we had one of the best episodes. Uh, we did score 6 goals in that game against Bothmuth and also um, we haven't lost any game to continue our unbeaten streak and the last play of the episode was picked up by Luke right there um, having a great episode. And yeah, so today's episode will be playing the month of March. I think, yeah. So I'll be playing this game against Fleetwood Town. Hall City and also this game against Black Bull and then next episode will wrap up uh, season two I think hopefully if we don't get to um, playoffs but yeah I'll see you guys at the game against Fleetwood. Here we go our first game at the episode will be against Fleetwood Town. This is how we line up Marinovic there at the back with Sutton and uh, but playing the fullback position and also up top we have Ryan Hardy um, pushing for that golden boot of course with um, I think it was Josh Windass I can't remember. But here we come, the first chance of the game we had was a nice cross by Elliot List, but the defender was in front of the um, Ryan Hardy there to block the cross there as we come again in the 15th minute with a nice uh, overhead ball to Luke Pratt. That has been really good as Ryan Hardy takes the first shot and the rebound does fall to Elliot List. The man on half form, he does make it 1-0 in the 16th minute to give us our first goal of the game here as they look to get something back from this game. Fleetwood Town managed to get in inside our box, take a great shot and again with a beautiful save by Stefan Marinovic there who's, um, I think I got an email saying that he will be called out for the national squad soon so I'm not sure if he's um, one of the games against Hull City because I really need him in that game, um, I think he's a top side but here's another good chance we had. Um, he does uh, set up uh, with his name, was that Ryan Hardy that set him up Elliot List, but who cares regardless, Elliot List does make it 2-0 and he already has a brace in this game. Great performance from him, I um, hope he can continue this great form as we look to defend here really nicely, and that's defending from um, Emmanuel Dennis, I think, yeah, Dennis Taylor, yeah, that's how you say his name, but here we come again, Elliot List who's been really good, does man to find Ryan Hardy, he takes a shot again, Ryan Hardy is just in front of the goal, is just a little bit too clumsy, so... Yeah, he's just one of those strikers that just doesn't do much, just sits in the box and not a tapping merchant, but he's along the lines of a tapping merchant. But here we come again, Benitez finding a nice pass in the middle. Ryan Hardy managed to turn his man again, can't do anything like that in front of the defense and he does manage to defend really well. But here they come with the first few chances of the game here, great defending from Archie Taylor, which I've been... I think I've been criticizing him a lot for his um, shy defending, but this game he really did step up to the challenge here as we come again. Mr. Rory Bird here setting up um, Zach Connor Smith there off the bench. He does make it one, I mean, two nil, yeah, three nil in the 72nd minute. Mean, that's what I'm saying. Even Connor Smith is so good at turning defenders and, and really um, finding the back of the net, but that's something, um, what's his name, Ryan Hardy isn't good at. But we do consider a terrible goal there. I was looking to keep a clean sheet against this team, but again, you can't really defend in this uh, game at least. But yeah, that's how the game's going to end. We do pick up big three points against Fleetwood Town. Um, this game against Peterborough will be quick same. They're currently sitting in 8th place, so I will not be making any changes to the team. Um, this is the team that won us last game against Fleetwood Town. Uh, let's go ahead and quick sim this. Hopefully, we pick up another big win to give us a bit of a confidence. Nope. We settle for a draw here, and List does score the only goal for us. Here we go. Our next game at the episode is going to be a big one. This time, we take on Hull City, and good to see us getting fifth wins here at Edmonton Rovers. Something not really never thought of, but good to see it. But this is how they line up. I'm five at the back formation. Always a difficult to play against, but they do have Doherty, and is that Malik Wilkes? Uh, I'm pretty sure he's a left wing or right midfield playing the center mid position. I'll, we'll see how he does, but they did get the first good chance of the game. Nice juke from, I think, was Malik Wilkes. The shot was taken again. It was saved by Stefan Marinovic as they come again looking to get the first goal of the game. Yeah, it was denied by Dennis or Archie Taylor there. Great defender from him as we look to get a good chance. The LA list all the space and time here to find Ryan Hardy. He sets up a really good chance. Again, it was defended really well by Hall City as we get a corner here. Elliot List looking to control the ball really nice and he was tackled by Jones inside the box and that will be a penalty for Ryan Hardy as he goes top corner, no rush about it and nothing you can do about it as he does make it 1-0 to give us a lead in this game. And one, I think we didn't really deserve that knowing how we played. But we, they do put another good cross there in the 39th minute. Um, great save from Stefan Marinovic, but I did find it was called offside, but here's one of the most questionable goals I've seen in a long time. And that's cross from Elliot Lister. I wasn't even 
pointed out Benitez but a great goal never in a million years thought that would be going to the back of the net but it is what it is as we look to get another good chance here look about who's been one of the most solid players again does manage to make the ball go outside is not what I expect and I thought we would be getting at least a foul or something but in the 52nd minute they do have a really good chance on target therefore I thought that was going in but it just goes up inches uh, next to the crossbar as we make another beautiful save there my main man Stefan Marino is the Kiwi legend there making unbelievable save after one another but here we come again earlier let's set it up Collins Collins to Ryan Hardy beautiful 1-3 pass to find him and he does make it 3-0 in the 74th minute to give us or secure us 3 points here against Hall City but they will be looking to get maybe a consolation goal here assist looking to find someone inside the box but Collins does deny him and we do sort of a big win against Hall City more at first youth academy player is going to be Ramiro Blanco. He looks like a decent player, uh, 73 to 79 potential. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and promote him. Next game at the episode is going to be against Morecambe, but there is no uh, Stefan Marinovic for this game, so that's going to be tough. Uh, hopefully, we can uh, win this and continue our push for the league. But um, this is, yeah, the rest of the team is unchanged. Hopefully, we can pick up three points here. Yeah, I'm not sure what to expect here, but. We do pick up three points here, thankfully, but um, Ryan Hardy does come in clutch, scoring a brace there. Here we go, our last game at the absolute will be another big side, this time fourth place, Oxford United, as we take on them away at their stadium, but this is how they line up. Eastwood there uh, playing in goalkeeper. I think that that's a new goalkeeper. I'm pretty sure they had a different goalkeeper, but that's none of our business. But as we look to secure three points here, Elliot List will be coming back to his favorite right mid position. I felt like he played really well in that position there, and I don't know. I might actually consider converting him to a right midfielder. But we do get the first goal of the game here, courtesy of freaking Ellis Goodwin, this guy, the main man of this team, man. He does hit the post and managed to go in to give us a lead in this game. But Luke Pratt again control really the ball nicely as he looked to put in a cross for Ryan Hardy there. But great header, it just managed to go outside there. Nothing you could do about it. But here they come again. Oxford with the first piece of chance of the game. A nice passing play between them and terrible defending from us. But we do manage to somehow get the ball cleared there. Um, heard yourself. Um, set in. but here's another good chance we had. I thought we should at least score or get something from this chance. The ball from um, Ellis Goodwin was too much, but yeah, here's another good chance we had in the 28th minute. Elliot List looking to put in a cross, yes, yeah, it does find Ryan Harder near post. It does manage to put in a great ball, but again, it was saved by the goalkeeper Eastwood yeah, as we have another good chance here. Yeah. Um, is that Luke right there finding our uh, Ryan Harder looking for someone to set up, and the bass was. Intercepted again as we have a good counter attack here. I'm um, Ryan Hardy with a lot of options. He does manage to find a list, a list with the chance. Does manage to put in a beautiful ball rope and does find the back of the net there. Elliot list making it 2 0 in the 48th minute to give us a cushion here as we look to make it 3 here in the 44th minute. That was a really good chance, but again, um, a beautiful save from Eastwood. As again, right before halftime, we do manage to get a couple chances here. This one just going. Why did the post from Ryan Hardy there? Actually, found out he was tied or second for the top goal scorer, so I'll be looking to supply him a lot of goals, maybe get him that golden boot. Who knows? But this is another good chance they had, and what a beautiful save from Stefano Minovic. I think the one game he doesn't play, we really do miss his presence as we. As they, yeah, that, that was a terrible tackle by them, but they do pick up a red card there again. Playing with uh, 10 men down always is hassle for me, but let's see if this game will be the same as. Um, they do pass the ball around really nicely, finding someone inside the box and whew, what a goal that was from inside the box and we do consider a goal and that all of a sudden does shift the momentum in their favor as we look to maybe get the deciding goal in the 81st minute. Nice passing play but terrible miss from Elliot List from that close. He should have scored but nothing to worry about as we get our last goal of the game in the 85th minute is our super sub. Connor Smith coming off the bench, he does make it 3-1 I will be picking all three points here and maybe a top uh, top two decided against uh, Oxford. Here's how the table is looking like after 41 games played. As you can see, we have 80 points there. Um, six points clear of second place MK Dons on um, Sheffield Wednesday behind them. There are 73 points. This is going to be a really uh, interesting episode, uh, next episode, as we try to clinch our first title. But um, who knows? I don't want to get too confident and too ahead of myself. But we scored uh, 64 goals just tied with MK Dons. Oh no, Sheffield wins the score, 72 goals, that's crazy, but yeah, and the team's in big trouble is going to be Doncaster Fleet with Turner Morecambe and Tranmere Rovers, so yeah, I'll see you guys at... Uh
play the episode, second best episode I had so far in this cream mode. Yeah, plenty of goals, the most fun I had in cream mode for a while. But um, for the play of the episode, it is uh, the main man, not the main man anymore, but Elliot Liz does pick up his first play of the episode. And the episode he had today it was crazy, especially the two goals he had. But yeah, the man that looks like a Steph Curry, like a Walmart Steph Curry. But um, yeah, if you made this fun to the episode, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, which should be season finale. Uh, yeah, so take care and peace.